Alright, so I'm going to show you how to know if you need to aerate your lawn from winter compaction. Watch as I try to stick this screwdriver in right here. Notice how hard it is to push it in. I mean, I can do it, but I'm using a lot of force. That means it's compact, and that's why this area looks thin and isn't uh, waking up as easily as the other areas. Now watch here. See how easy that was? It's using no effort at all. So by using a screwdriver like that, you can easily see which areas are really compact and which aren't. And so my recommendation is to aerate the areas that are compact, but for the other areas, it's really not necessary. Uh, especially in the springtime, we're going to have a lot of rain and the soil is usually really soft. So I personally won't aerate the whole yard, but I will do some plug aeration on this, this one spot where people are walking from the driveway to the front step. And for this type of uh, aeration, I like to use these little manual plug aerators. Uh, they get the job done. It is, it's, it's a workout, but if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, you can see the plugs just go right through the end. No big deal. And then I leave the plugs behind. Uh, some people like to blow the plugs up. Some people like to um, rake them up. I personally just leave them behind. It's, it's a cosmetic thing. If it really bothers you, feel free to clean it up. Uh, so what this does, pulling these plugs out, is it allows the roots to breathe. It allows nutrients to get down to the roots and it, it helps with the uh, water getting down as well because it, when it's so compact, everything will just wash off or pool up and it just it makes a mess. And so since shooting this video, I have seen it's already started to rebound a little bit, uh, but it, it still might take longer for this area to recover than the rest of the lawn just because of how compact it is. Um, now if you rent an aerator, you're going to get a lot more plugs in than this is. This, I mean, it's, it's doing okay. I could have done a better job, but I'm, I'm just going for helping to improve the area. I'm not going for perfection here. Um, now as for dethatching, uh, this is a debatable topic, but realistically, most of the time, you don't actually have a thatch problem. Like if you look at my lawn, a lot of people will see the, the dead grass spots and go, oh, that's a thatch issue and, and it needs to get dethatched. Technically, no, it's not thatch. Technically, it's just dead grass blades. But it does look kind of ugly. And so running a dethatching rake over it or renting in a machine to do it will make it look nicer. So don't do it because you think it's somehow detrimental to your lawn do it because you like the, the look better uh, for the most part you know if you were just to leave it like this it would grow in fine i've done that many times in fact i usually don't dethatch because it it just works out fine uh, but the times i have done it yes the lawn does look nicer right after so you know, if you've got the uh, motivation, all this free time on your hands right now, being locked down, go for it because it definitely does look better. It's just, I don't want you guys thinking you have to do it because um, you don't technically have to. Most most people don't do it and their lawns look just fine in a couple weeks. So there you have it. It's just some tips. Now, you know, if you have the money and the resources to rent this equipment, by all means, go for it. Um, you're not hurting anything if you do uh, aerate or detach when you don't have to, but you're also uh, you're seeing diminishing returns. I guess is a good way of saying it. You know, it it will improve the look of things, but at some point you get to go. Well, was it worth it? But I mean, we're all in this weird situation now where we have all this free time on our hands. So, you know, I'll spend all day doing this if I'm bored or whatnot. So that's the video for this week. <laughs> I'm really disappointed how this came out with the footage and everything, but hey, what can we do? Um, I'll see if I can order a better microphone because the setup I have now just keeps unplugging and then the wind is, is just terribly windy. So hopefully the next one will be better. All right, have a good one. Bye.
If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The lawn care planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The lawn care journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a lawn of the week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out, it's completely free, it's grassdaddy.net.